Hello everyone, Bob Boy here, and um, this is a theory video. Now, as you know, probably, Scott Games just released another teaser, and uh, it's a lot more different than what we suspected, for, as we know, the FNAF 4 teaser pictures that we've been getting are the Nightmare animatronics. And so, once Nightmare Foxy was introduced, there's been a lot of speculation going on on what the next season picture would be. Well, here's your answer. Now, I came up with a really big, me and my sister Pure Blood came up with a very, very interesting theory on this picture and what exactly could FNAF 4 actually take place in. Now, <laughs> you're probably wondering, uh, what the frick? How can you discover all that with just this tiny little picture? It, it's what you brighten up in the picture of what you see. Um, now listen. You're probably wondering because of the purple Scott Games title and the purple hat and the purple bow tie that this has to do with the purple guy, right? Wrong. To be honest, I'm still kind of figuring out what the purple means. Exactly. I mean, it might have something to do with the purple guy. This is all theory. Um, but me and my sister, Pure Blood, have discovered a little bit interesting. If you zoom in, right here, if you zoom in, you can see what looks to be nightmare animatronic teeth here. Now you're probably wondering to yourself, uh, Bobby Boy, if those are nightmare animatronic teeth, then you would see the rest of the head in the reflection. That's true. But, if you actually compare the contrast to the light, you can actually see that you wouldn't actually be able to see the face at all. For he is facing this way. Now, you're probably wondering if this is super far-fetched or not, but if you look really closely right here, you can see a nightmare animatronic eye reflected in. So, if you turn this whole thing upside down, you can kind of see the perspective. And also, if you look closer right here, you can see another. You can see the second eye, or the, or the right eye, I guess if you want to put it that. So, you can see the eyes right here, right here, and right here, and the teeth. Now, a lot of people speculated that it was teeth, yes, and a lot of people speculated that it was a microphone reflected in. And I, I could see where they were coming from, but it's just not that. Now, let me show you what happens when I brighten up the image. As you can see, I don't have the, uh, I kind of lost Photoshop by accident because I was using the free trial, but let's paste. So as you can see, yeah, it's kind of early, uh, but as you can see, this is the red line that the that I was recording on. And so I just took this picture, for any of you who believe that this was fake, like a fake picture, but no, it's real. Alright, well, let me uh, just... This is how you write now. Now. <sighs> okay, this is a bit interesting. Now, this is what you see. When you brighten up the image, it'll be much more effective when you use Photoshop, but, I mean, I don't have Photoshop anymore, so, I mean, I'm just gonna have to deal. Now, I noticed that Scott used a very old-timey fashion. Now, when you actually brighten this thing up in Photoshop, you will see that this fades out, so you, it's blank, and then kind of forms back in here. Now, you can't see this letter, but from the shape of it, it is not an A. That is definitely not an A, and it looks more like an E. Now, I want you to take a look. It says property of, and then the words F and R. Now, let me just darken it up a bit so you can see a bit more. Now, property of FR. Now, what starts with FR? Freddy, yes. But also, Fred Bear does. But, you're probably wondering to yourself, 
how do you know that that says Fred Bear? Let me show you. So, it's a pretty freaking long space in between here. And you could fit about three whole words in there. So, how can it be Fred Bear when Bear ends in two letters of A and R? That's an E and R. But what exactly ends with E and R? Diner. E R. And if because it says F R, it can't be murderer. So does that mean that it, that says property of Freddy Fat or property of Fred Bears, Fred Bears family diner? So could this be F Fred Bears family diner? Could this literally be something from it? Who knows? I mean, this is all just theory and speculation and all that. This is not all official. I mean, it might be because I think this is actually a pretty good theory. Um, now, because we still... Hold on, let me exit out. Now, because we see this right here. This suspecting nightmare animatronic right here in the reflection of the floor. I mean, why is it there exactly? So that's my theory: is that this animatronic, that we, the head of the animatronic that we see reflected, is none other than Fredbear. Now <laughs> you're probably asking yourself, uh, Bob Boy, how can that be Fredbear? I mean, Fredbear probably looked like a normal animatronic. He did. Um, I mean, we exactly don't know where these nightmare animatronics came from. Um, but basically the nightmare animatronics, um, like, basically whoever is designing these nightmare animatronics or whoever made them, or, I mean, I don't even know, probably found Fredbear somewhere and just turned Fredbear into one of the nightmare animatronics and so my speculation is that the hat and bow tie here is Fredbear's hat and bow tie now okay now you're probably wondering to yourself bad boy but isn't Fredbear Golden Freddy? no if my theory is correct, Fredbear and Golden Freddy are different, different ones. Then they, they are different Freddies, because as we know, Freddy from the first, from the first game, uh, he has a blue hat and a blue bow tie, not a purple hat or a purple bow tie, and also Golden Freddy, he does not have a he does not have a ribbon around the hat, as you can see right here. So that means that this is not a Golden Freddy teaser. So, um, basically, yeah. But we've, but this can't, this can't be Purple Guy, right? I mean, this, this just can't be Purple Guy, you know why? Because from all the 8-bit sprites that we've actually seen of Purple Guy, we have never even seen him wearing a hat or or a bow tie or really any tie in that matter or really anything he was just some guy but anyway basically the only, the only person or the only thing that we've ever seen something with those kinds of you know stuff on those accessories is Shadow Freddy now this this could be Fredbear, or this could be Shadow Freddy, or Shadow Freddy or Fredbear could be the same person. Who even knows? This is all just theory. But um, yeah. So this could this is probably property of Fredbear's family diner, and from that we can definitely tell that Five Nights at Freddy's Four is a sequel, not a prequel. But you know why a sequel, not a prequel? Because it's Freddy Fred, uh, or Fred, Fred, Fred Bear's Family Diner. 
is because Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy were never invented in the original Fredbear Family Diner. It was only Fredbear and the marionette. So, yeah. So, technically, Fun at Freddy's 4, my speculation, is going to take place in Fredbear's Family Diner, revisited after the events of FNAF 3. Where, you know, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, and Foxy were actually made. And actually existed. So what do you guys think of this theory? Post down in the comments below and see what you guys think. Because I, I honestly think that this is a pretty good theory and, you know. And it turns out that the four in the spotlight theory, that actually turned out to be true. And that was right. Haha. <laughs> anyway. Uh, leave your comments uh, down below and uh, I will see you in the next video.